Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to the Curious Expedition. So I was looking at the high score chart and we're at, uh, we need about a little bit over a thousand fame to get a high score. I think that's totally doable, especially given the fact that staying in a village gives us an anthropological study and a painting every time. So we're definitely going to be leaning into villages pretty hard. We see two villages here, two villages here. Uh, only one here. This place has a lot of temples, and it ha or has a lot of shrines, and it has a temple, and temples are pretty great, but they're a lot more compelling earlier in the game when you're going to be able to take advantage of their thing for longer. So I think this is four shrines. This is only showing us three shrines. Yeah, let's go here. Bear, oh wait, buried golden pyramid versus normal golden pyramid. Am I cool going after a buried golden pyramid? It would probably take two or maybe even three seals. I think it would be two seals right now. Yeah, let's try it. Nope, change my mind. <laughs> uh, told me about a vicious hyena named Snarfrattle. Yeah, I think we, we can probably kill Snarfrattle with this party. We just need to pick up a fighter. A uh, soldier. I mean, that's, that's what I'm talking about right there. A translator wouldn't be a terrible thing to have. But let's, let's go for a soldier. Unless we see something really compelling here. Sailor, Sailor, Cultist. No, I think we're sticking with this. Uh, we don't have quite as much money as I might like. We can probably go to uh, 90 funds here and then spend 50 on a saddle improvement. We are going to potentially have a lot of loot to carry. Oh, I have two Moonstones left over. That's right. That's excellent, actually. I'm very pleased with that. We're definitely going to need these. Um, these will probably stay in the hold of the ship. So we have one more slot than it looks like. We probably want to bring some dynamite. Definitely torches. I'm going to be optimistic and bring some shovels. Uh, I don't think we're going to bother with weather balloons right now because we're on a little bit of a crunch. We have seven bottles of whiskey, so I don't necessarily need to bring any beans. But let's bring a can of beans just in case. Don't want to put one inventory slot devoted to beans, actually. <laughs> uh, maybe not. I could bring another torch. I don't think I need to, probably. Actually, let's drop this and just bring five ropes. How about that? Because it's a, it's a jungle. It's wetland. We're probably, we probably are going to encounter um, shallow water. The ropes will help us get through that. Deal. And then also, pick up a saddle for Mr. Jenkin. All right. We're going to kill a hyena. We're going to get super, super paid. Uh, we have nine fangs that's 90 value worth of trade with uh, the villages hopefully we'll encounter them early in the expedition all right let's see what do we got we see a geyser right away no question marks uh let's access the ship storage we do not need to carry these with us is there anything else i want to throw in storage actually no i think the rest of this stuff could be useful um I'm not taking water. We're going to mount up, so we only really have one for inventory space. I would just drop the water, like, immediately if I took it. Do I want to hold out and give Sophie a third level? Now, let's level this guy up right away, and then we'll assign the next two points to him as well, and that'll improve his die. Also, remembering to do the thing right away. I guess the thing that makes the most sense is to head for the hill. Oh, I forgot alcoholism. Okay, well, we see a bunch of stuff right away. We may as well take advantage of this. There's no reason not to rest overnight, and we're high on sanity, so we should get good stuff, if anything. I took great pleasure, uh, great pleasure sitting by the crackling fire and used the idle time to record my experiences in my ta travel journal. I noticed Leopold Terrian observing me with intrigue. That's interesting. I wonder if you get... That's got to do something, right? Boy, we sure did rest for a really long time. Uh-oh. Before we knew what had precipitated it, the fire began to spread out of control. I suspected Sophie Le Mercier to be the one with the pyromaniac tendencies and urged her to be more careful next time. I have the fact she's not like, hey, don't start fires. Start fires in a way that's less potentially detrimental to us next time, would you? Ah, damn it. Oh, and we're in a dead end. Sure glad I brought this dynamite. 
So I think we dynamite right here. That'll give us access to this area to the north and access to this question mark over here. Actually, wait a second. Is there... If we have not brought dynamite, do we actually have a path? Because it's blocked off this way completely, and it's blocked off here. Maybe there's a way through the mountains up here. Well, anyway, I'm glad we brought the dynamite. Our standing is going to be completely in the toilet before we meet the first village. Well, we may as well hit this. Sound of rushing water beneath our feet? I'm okay with that. Okay, so we are going to dismount. The water will keep the fire from chasing us too aggressively. Oh! That's the Golden Pyramid already, huh. What a weird little region we've discovered. Yeah, I know, I know. They don't like it when you do that. What are they, negative four? Okay, well, we know where the Golden Pyramid is, and we probably have enough... Actually, we have three Moonstones. We definitely have enough Moonstones. Um, let's go over here. Oh no, the water's gonna take out all of the land around the... Okay, okay, no, we're fine. It didn't, it didn't spread out to the sides. So we'll just have to approach the pyramid from the north, which I think is what we're gonna end up doing anyway. Um, the water seems to follow you for an arbitrary amount of time. It's, it's probably, you know, random with bounding, and, uh, I'm a little nervous. Can we afford to walk this way? Yeah, we're probably fine. I'm concerned about the water encroaching on the path. Like, maybe it would be better to walk around, but we're going to go this way. Yeah, we're fine. A slaver camp. Okay. We're decent at fighting. I'm going to mount up. So that we get to use the, uh, the water buffalo's combat die. We're decent at fighting, and this will give us a lot of standing if we take them out. And also a lot of loot. So here we go. Let's murder some slavers. We may end up using our second dynamite on this, actually. Alright, if we trade with them, it has potential value, but also uh, we lose standing just for initiating the trade. Or just for completing the trade. So let's just go straight to fighting. I'm probably going to be using the dynamite here. If I roll brain at any point, yeah. Dynamite's really valuable in this situation. So this guy has six health. We can cap him real quick. And then it's just a matter of dealing with all these other guys. Uh, so let's do a kick. And then we're looking for we're looking for hand to match with this. And I guess we don't really need eye. Yeah, so kick and shoot the other one. Bam! Easy. Plus 15 sanity. Um, let's assume that that's hyena meat. Oh, this is beautiful. We're going to have to drop a bunch of stuff, though. All right, plus five standing. Fixed everything. All right, uh, Snarf Rattle's up here. So we have a direction. Let's cook and eat this meat, obviously. And then we still have three things we have to drop. Shoot. I guess we don't really need extra bullets. We're pretty good fighters. I'm glad that we had the dynamite, though. I'm also glad that we were able to use the dynamite and clear an inventory spot out. <laughs> uh... The whip is really cool, and I don't feel like we've gotten a really good chance to see how it works yet. We had it briefly in another adventure. I'm going to throw out our ropes. And I'm going to throw out the last machete, because it's just one machete. Also, we're going to use this. Okay, it didn't, didn't show us anything new. I really need the water to stop chasing us. That, that would be huge. Please. Please stop. Oh my god, this curse is forever. Okay, no, the water has stopped. Unfortunately, short of putting out the big fire that we started. <laughs> we are so bad for every region that we go to. Alright. Uh, Snarf Rattle? I kind of wish I'd kept the bullets, actually. Snarf Rattle's relatively tough. But we have a hunting rifle. And three good blue dice to use with it. Oh my god, he's also a huge coward. Hey, Snarf Rattle. Let's rumble. Snarf rumble. I wish we had a shotgun. A shotgun would be really cool here. Okay, so let's let's think about this. This drops a hyena, straight up. But do I want to try to bring Snarf Rattle down first? So it takes 18 damage to kill all the hyenas, and that removes 3 dice from play, but there's 3 weak dice. Or 16 damage to remove 3 good dice from play. I think the best thing to do is focus hard on Snarf Rattle. And in fact, we can kill him right now if we just roll I. Uh, I am going to keep gun, but not use it yet. 
And I don't want to keep Huff because it's the weak face on that die. Okay, here we go. So this will finish off Snarf Rattle. The whip is weird to use. I don't... The two faces are still mysteries to me, to a certain degree. So let's keep these. I don't think I want shield. I think I want hand. And then... Uh, I don't know. I'll keep this just because we only have one reroll left and I'm more worried about rolling a blank than anything else. Let's see if we roll... Okay, we kept the same face on the whip, so we... We know it doesn't combine with any of our dice. So first of all, hoof. And then sword. Alright, so we only have we only have to eat two dice, and uh, they do have two blank faces each, so we might actually only eat one attack. Nope. Ah, and they spread out the damage. Darn it. We don't have any medical supplies. That's the thing I forgot. Well shit. <laughs> okay, at least we have this down. I can't believe you lose one standing. Snarf Rattle's a monster. Okay, so let's uh, cook and eat all the meat real quick. God, man. If you have a, a British soldier and a cook in your party, you can just go forever. As long as there are living creatures in the world, you can just keep fighting. Alright, the whip is worth 30. These are worth like 10 each to villages. You know what? Maybe I just dropped the torches. Screw caves. We're done with caves. I am for reals worried about the injuries, though. I cannot believe I was so... Alright. Okay, a shaman hut. Shaman might have mushrooms. Oh, we can just ask him straight up for healing. You know, I don't think I've ever done that before. Um, do we want to do any cleansing? I don't like the kleptomania. I don't like the racism, but... I don't know that we... Well, let's just see. Let's ask for healing. How expensive? Fairly expensive. Lake creation, springs creation, effortless movement, targeted teleportation. Oh, springs creation. Cancel. We're just going to get that from him. So I want this, and this, and this, if we can swing that. Those are all really great. Uh, we have all these animal teeth. Cool. Do we want... We don't really want lake creation... I don't need any of these other things. Actually, you know what? This is 60 uh, points worth of hyena pelts, and it clears up an inventory space. This is a definitely a uh, better way to do it. Okay, deal. I should have thrown away the shovels before throwing away the torches. That seems silly. I made a mistake there. Alright, so we leave. We immediately do Springs Creation. Okay, that's a bummer. That's a lot of... There we go. Okay, that's a lot of uh, a lot of points of movement. Yeah, we can travel through Hyena Land to get there. This eats a little bit less sanity. Okay, the hyena's aggroed, so we should. Oh, they aggroed, but they moved away from us. That's weird. Okay, awesome. So we know that our uh, oh, the water expanded just enough that we're gonna have to come around this way to get to the pyramid. That's annoying. Actually, we don't have to do anything. I have targeted teleportation. We can just use that if we want. So let's explore these springs and rest overnight. For going sleep, I carefully noted the position of stars in this special night sky. I noticed one especially peculiar constellation. I'm sure somebody in the Western world would appreciate this information. And uh, we get some sanity from resting outdoors, and then the springs magically heal your wounds because they're healing springs. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm so happy with how this is going so far. Alright, let's try out the whip against these hyenas. So this face still doesn't combine with anything. I wonder if this face... It can't just be a dud, right? Because why wouldn't they just make it blank? It must do something. And I... Yes, before you ask, yes, I have totally forgotten what I learned last time we had it. Uh... So, Sword Shield does do two damage... But let's uh, let's keep I I we roll rifle this will let us kill one of them straight up. Okay, actually let's think about this for a moment. So we could go rifle I I and kill them in three dice, or rifle I in any of our other options and kill them in three dice. It's like rifle I gun. 
I guess the thing is, this die equals two damage when used this way. But it also equals two damage when we use it any other way. So we may as well just do it. Do it this way for now. Um Oh, uh I need I need man, right. Sword hand isn't anything. Sword uh man hand is kick. Okay, we can do a double stun. That's actually pretty cool. Cutting whip. Oh wow, damage four double stun. That is super good. Alright, we're gonna do that to this guy. He's out of combat and he's one hit away from death. And then this will be two damage. And this will be two damage, and this will be two damage. Okay. And they literally cannot attack us, and then we just whatever and kill them. Kick them. So we're at negative one? Yeah, negative one. Okay, let's take all this. One slot overburdened. I'm gonna drop the shovels instead of the meat. Where the hell are all the villages, man? Oh, you know what else? We didn't bring any canvases. And the villages are... These have to be villages, right? Both of them? We go to negative four if we hit the shrine right now. I'm fine with it. We can we can barter up for... Oh, no, cancel. I must have... I clicked in the map. And then I clicked the button even though it said travel instead of explore because I'm a huge idiot. Examine. Okay. A thick layer of sand seemed to surround the structure. That's fine. I don't care about that. So let's take this stuff, continue, we will cook and eat this meat, that will give us an inventory spot back, and then, uh, honestly, I think we're in a place where we're just throwing out these beads. I know, trade and everything, but this is 40 value worth of beads, this is 200 value worth of teeth, and the whip is actually doing stuff, everything else we have here actually has purpose, so beads, sorry. Sorry, you've been outclassed. So we may as well rest here before moving on. We're still way ahead of everybody else. It's 121 days before anybody else gets to where uh, gets to their pyramid. Actually, let's go over to here. See what we can see to the east. There's a cave that I don't particularly care about. Okay, there is some, wow. There's a lot of stuff in this region. Uh, we have a ton of sanity restoration in our inventory still. Okay. Yeah, sure, let's look into the well at night. Uh, using hand using handholds hewn into the rock, we climbed down to a small patch of grass by the pond. Was this truly an abyss? For we could not see the bottom. Oh man. All of a sudden, an otherworldly apparition appeared, flowing over the water. He informed us about a hidden region that was said to host a seldom-seen breed of white tigers. That's cool, we've never seen that kind of region before. Hell yeah, we're still seeing new stuff. I love games that have lots of new things in them. Alright, let's go over here. This could be a village. It is a shaman's hut. Okay. Do we want to barter for cleansing? We have so many things we can trade at this point. Yeah, let's ask for some cleansing. Uh, do you have cool stuff? Homebound, Springs Creation, Water Drain. I'd like these. <gasps> dinosaur Skull. Free Dinosaur Skull. Not free. We're going to trade stuff I don't care about for it. Hell yeah. God, parties that go hunting wild animals are so powerful. I've been playing this game on uh, on hot, like hard difficulty by trying to avoid animals. At least I was at the beginning. Uh, we will not be revealing a prehistoric region, region by just holding this. We will be getting rid of it for either fame or uh, funds. I haven't decided yet. But it's totally worth trading in this stuff. This is uh, 20 plus 25. This is 45 funds worth of stuff for a 60 fun skull plus two awesome scrolls. Deal. Okay, so who... I don't like the alcoholism. The kleptomania we can deal with. Alright, cool. Uh, so let's... Leave? We may end up, she may end up reacquiring alcoholism because we may end up having to drink some whiskey here. But it's the most annoying trait that people get, in my opinion. Sorry, cannibalism is pretty annoying. Is this a tiger? There's a tiger over here. Let's go fight the tiger and explore over here a little bit more. Okay, well, there's a chance that doing this will 
uh, bring on some angry animals. Oh, nice. Do they stack by any chance? Nope. That would have been really cool. Uh, so, we have a couple of options here. We could just keep going. We haven't found either of the villages yet. Basically, what I'm thinking is this might be a good time to use our tome page of effortless uh, movement. We could just bail, right? I could go effortless movement, pop down to here, and let's leave with uh, 140 fame plus uh, 50 fame. We could just use these for funds. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, returning the Snarf Rattle thing is, I'm sure, going to give us funds as well. I can't remember exactly what it, what we get from that. The other option we have is we could uh, we could drink a little whiskey and push onward. And on our way back, hit these three question marks, which might be really valuable. Our standing is super low, so if we want to chill with the villagers, we may have to, uh, we're going to have to pay some, some value for that. But man, we're pushing for a high score run. Let's do it. Let's keep going. So let's drop something. Is it the whip? I don't want to drop the whip. Out of curiosity. The whip is the least valuable thing in our inventory, though. We certainly can't drop the moonstones. We need them to leave. All this stuff is sweet, sweet treasure. Man, maybe I just don't have the inventory space for more treasure. So, if we get more treasure without using our tome page of effortless movement, we can intentionally overload and then effortless movement to the goal. I'm going to try to not use the targeted teleportation so that we have it for next expedition when things could get really hairy. Yeah, let's let's drop the whip. I know it's really cool. Drink one whiskey. Okay, nobody goes crazy. Hey, tiger, stop running away from me. Oh, sweet. A place to stay. All right, I'm going to chance it. One move into zero sanity. Okay, we did not get a bad result. We're going to attack this guy so that if we take damage, we get to stay at the springs and uh, heal the damage off immediately. Ah, uh, yeah. Hell yeah, Ripper Leap. Basically, I'm just always looking for a way to do two damage per die, and anything that does more than two damage per die is really great. Like this. Alright, take all that. I'm going to cook and eat the meat because we'd have to throw it out if I don't. <clears throat> and um, the higher our sanity when we stay, the less likely it is that something disastrous is going to happen here. Uh, we need to drop one more thing. The tiger pelt's not very valuable. Yep, that's it. Tiger pelt's not very valuable. <clears throat> Alright, let's rest overnight here. I laid awake and listening to the wildlife, uh, the menacing wildlife surrounding me. Oh, this is just... If I paid attention to each temple's structural composition, perhaps I could gain an advantage. Indeed. So how are we on time? Okay. Leopold Tyrion started another fire. That's kind of annoying. She doesn't actually have... Um... She doesn't actually have Pyromaniac, so we can't cleanse it. I think this might be happening because her loyalty is reduced, because we didn't give her any alcohol for a while. Oof, such a long walk. Well, if we go to here... See, we don't really have the option of going this way, though, because the fire's going to burn out of control. So like, we kind of have to go to here first. Uh, we're going to have to stop and drink on the way. All right, that's fine. We'll do that. I'm not going to stop and fight any more animals, even though animals are good for our sanity, because I'm really worried about our standing. I don't know exactly at what level of standing the villagers start coming after you, but I'm sure it's uh, not too far from where we're at. Okay, so let's take a take a hit. Nobody, nobody went nuts. I want to do this in a way that doesn't leave us resting at zero sanity, because that has turned out poorly for us on a number of occasions. Oh no! <clears throat> As we checked our supplies, I became aware that something was amiss. I could not shake off the feeling that it had been stolen by a member of the Trek. Yeah, okay. That's annoying, uh, the kleptomania, but the abacus is not the worst thing we could have lost there, that's for sure. We're going to rest again. 
Oh no! Leopold Terrien and Lieutenant Cornelius Barlow had invested, instigated an argument about uh, who the better climber out of the two was. They wished to settle their disputes by seeing who could climb one of the jungle trees the quickest. Let's. This is going to cost us um, loyalty, I think, but our loyalty with both of them is pretty high. They said something about me ordering them around like dogs, but I would rather have them angry at me than risk a serious injury. That's especially true, um, given that I bet there's a small chance of a death occurring from that event. Just outright death. Alright. Let's head over here. Fighting this scorpion will be how we replenish our sanity after this leg of the trip. Even though fighting a giant scorpion is not the safest thing that anyone has ever done. Yay, a village, finally! I know where our standing is going to go all, all to hell on this. Um, let's level her up a little more. Okay, these guys are pretty tough. 12 hit points each. I guess I can I can one-shot one of them. Uh, we're going to keep this, but not use it just yet. Actually, there's no reason not to. So we'll keep this. I really want to see uh, eyes, so I'm not going to hold either of those, even though mind is useful to us. We'll hold this too. Okay. So let's kill the uninjured one. And then uh, kick him. We'll hold these looking for Ripper Leap. I won't use them yet in case we don't find it. We can compare one of them with the... Oh! That actually does just does 6 damage straight up. Let's just do that. Loot him. Uh, wow, that was a lot of meat. I didn't realize those guys dropped so much meat. That's cool. Do I want to trade my whiskey off, maybe? Okay, we can move once while this while we're this overburdened and be okay. Let's enter the village and trade with them. Yeah, let's put them put them at ease with some gifts. So I want. Oh man, we need two more inventory spots to be able to carry that stuff. Uh, I want to buy some standing for sure. Actually, let's just put all of our animal teeth on the table because we need to make up inventory spaces here. So let's say we get this and this. That still gives us plus thirteen standing. Okay. We're getting not uh, not optimal value here. Do I care? We really just need inventory space so we can bring cool stuff back to back home. Plus thirteen standing would put us at seven. We do not need to be at seven. Oh, let's buy these for sure. Were there caves nearby? I don't know. We don't have the inventory space to carry the torches anyway. But we're gonna buy these and use them right away. So I'll take this. I'll take plus nine standing. That puts us at three. Okay, our reputation seem to be very positive in this region, at least now. Uh, and then, do we want to stay here? Maybe we may as well, right? There's no good reason not to. Uh, we will not, in fact, kill Sophie. Uh, we will study your culture, and then we will sleep. I forgot to bring uh, sketching materials. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So let's leave the village. We will hook up each of our party members with one of these. Uh, Cornelius and the cook. The cook is the one I haven't done it to, right? I think so. I noticed that their um, ordering changed on that menu between gifts. I'm wondering if it uh, if it tells us how how bad their loyalty is, the position of their name on the uh, on the list when you use a trinket. So I kind of don't... I don't want to trade with the village again because there's nothing of value to get from them, but, like, we just have so much garbage in our inventory now. <laughs> Let's cook and eat meat until we're at full. And then throw out the rest of the meat? Is that really what we're... Is that where we are here? No, it's got to be throw out the whiskey. Meat is almost as good as whiskey, but doesn't have the chance of making somebody an alcoholic. And then it's, uh, it's do I want to throw out a gun, or do I want to throw out some treasure, or do I want to throw out the meat? And there's a tiger here and a tiger there, and, like, there's lots of animals around, and we're going through Animal Town to get to... I think we just toss the meat, honestly. Oh, I can't count. Tossing the meat doesn't even solve the whole problem. Uh, I traded for these jewels, but maybe we toss them now. Yeah, I think so. Okay, what's this? 
Okay, well we we're gonna have some funds. We will make sure to uh, make sure to craft some improvements to our saddle. Alright, come on. Oh, he's not showing us the good stuff. This is the time when we would definitely be able to make use of the good stuff. Okay, so we can take these because they all go in a, a stack. And then we've actually traded away all of our um, all of our stuff that we use for trade. Actually, maybe I don't want to get all these. Because what would I trade for them? All of this stuff is more valuable later than it is now. I guess these aren't, but we want them for fame. We're trying trying to get a high score here, man. It's a little late to be picking up canvases. Eh, maybe we don't trade for anything. As much as I would like these, there's just no way for us to get them. I guess... Now, we're going to use these for fame, right? So we have 60 funds, and maybe one of these for funds, and then for fame, and yeah, this is sensible. I don't know. Maybe we do need to be ready to prepare a little bit more for the next expedition. So this is 100... We, if we use these for funds, they'd be 120. We're gaining funds, because this is 180. Can I get one of these, too? Oh. I don't have shovels anymore, so this isn't really valuable to me. Uh, <clears throat> the question now is, did I want to keep one of these for fame? Because this is a good trade, right? No, this is just 60 for 60. This This trade doesn't make any sense. You know what, we're just, we're just gonna not trade. Because remember, we are gonna get paid for having uh, dealt with Snarf Rattle. Is this the other village? Alright, we can jam another anthropological study into our inventory without having to spend any space. So... We're really close to the exit. Aren't we? Let's see, we're at one standing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep here. I discovered James Sterling tied to a pole at the rear of the village. How do you even get here? Apparently, he had slapped a child. I, sorry, man. I kind of don't need you, so I know it's a very mercenary way of dealing with this. All right, hold on. Let's have a look at the map. So no, we're actually not very close. I was debating about trading for the jewels and then just walking the rest of the way overburdened. Um, Twenty-six days until somebody else gets there. This would be seven days of travel, followed by... Tw okay, so it's a 28-day route. So it cost us 50 fame to go check out the this thing up here. Maybe we just bail. Maybe we're done. That seems like kind of a silly path to take. I know the game's trying to root me around the desert. Yeah, what the heck. We'll kill the scorpion. Why not? I guess a good reason not to do this is that it... Um, it potentially gets us... damaged. Which would be bad. Alright, so I'm gonna hold this, and this... And that. Okay, there we go. I was looking for I and this guy. And at this point, we may as well hold the other sword. Okay, cool. All right, so, first of all... Kabam. We need... <coughs> pardon me. We need six damage on this guy. Well, fortunately, Water Buffalo is the man. I'm... Oh my god, I'm riding the Water Buffalo. We totally had more inventory space. I've been riding the water buffalo this whole time. Hold on, we're going back and getting those gems at least. Don't I feel like an idiot. Give me these. You know what, and all these. <laughs> this, is a, this is a very slight trade-up. And then we'll trade them a bunch of the meat, too. Cool. Deal. There we go. Don't worry, guys. I caught it eventually. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I have to say, I'm pretty pleased with this. And this means we have a tome page of targeted teleportation and a tome page of effortless movement going into the last expedition. That gives me very high hopes. <clears throat> so, let us enter the pyramid. We even have a moonstone left over. 
Let's uh, let's look at the map here. I do want to say we went everywhere, man. Look at this track. World discovered seventy nine percent. Not too bad for uh, an expedition so late. That buffalo is huge. Yeah, I guess so. I guess it's a pretty large buffalo. Uh, we probably don't need polyglot anymore. There's probably only going to be one more, uh, one more village. So do we want Jungle Explorer or Extra Green Dye, Climber? I think we're going to take Extra Green Dye, right? These are not really that compelling. This is not that compelling because, again, we're probably only going to have one more village to deal with. One or two at, like, max. Let's just take an Extra Green Dye. I am very confident about getting through this last expedition. I think we're going to be totally fine, and this is definitely a high score. We may have to turn the difficulty up. To be perfectly honest with you, I think we've kind of got this figured out. Okay, let's keep that so we can give it to the guy. Fame, fame. Fame, fame, fame. Look at that score! Uh, sell, definitely. Now here's a question. Do I want to keep these for trade value, or do I just want to sell them now? To use them for goods. We're definitely not going to be able to afford a pack upgrade if I don't sell these. Whatever, we probably don't need trade value. Okay, so we could just go to the prehistoric lands, but I want to do this white tiger thing. We've never done a white tiger grassland before. I've never seen that. Plus, it has a, a burial mound in it. We get a mummy. Uh, this has two villages. Those things on the left are dinosaur person villages. This one doesn't show us a village, and each village is worth 70 uh, fame for the, er, for the anthropological study, plus painting XP, and we will. Be remembering to buy some empty canvases this time. So I'm pretty torn. No, we have to see the new thing. We already have a really high score. I'm not going to min-max it so much that we miss seeing new stuff. That would be crazy. Also, this is a party that's actually capable of fighting uh, white tigers. Yeah, let's hand over the pelt. Obviously, we should do that. The hunter nodded quietly, and I saw a faint sign of sadness crossing his weathered face. I almost wonder... Wow, plus 150. Okay, this guy wants us to bring back instruments. I guess we'll accept it doesn't actually do anything because the uh, the game will be over before we would get the chance to trade them to him. Uh, we're cool. Our crew is actually really great. Let us purchase some equipment. Yes. Uh, we don't have any supplies on us. If we save 100 funds, we can do another pack up. So let's be let's be a little cautious about how much stuff we take with us. But I definitely want to bring some shovels if we're bringing the treasure pendulum. We want to bring a couple of torches. We are probably going to have to bring some whiskey just in case. Climbing gear is important. We're going to see it's grasslands. I'm sure the machetes will still be useful. So what if I do? What oh man? Can I afford to not do this? There's supposed to be a bunch of white tigers, right? And we have teleportation and effortless movement. I am willing to I am willing to go without whiskey. We're going to make it up on the road. This is a crazy thing to do. I feel so, so nervous. <laughs> we may as well bring five ropes. I don't know what we're going to encounter. Okay. And... Plus pack. Alright, here we go. Come on, white tigers. Many, many white tigers. I remember to bring medical supplies. Everything's going to be fine. We need to get a level on our painter, though. Make sure that these canvases go to maximum value. Actually, wait, did I level our painter all the way? Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, access ship storage. We definitely don't need to be carrying these. Everything else, though, we do want to carry. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I didn't look to see if the Golden Pyramid is buried or not. That is information that the game just offered to me, and I elected not to take. All right, let's begin. We're going we're gonna to have a good run. I feel confident of that. Not based on anything in particular, just because I want to feel confident for a change. Alright, here's a start. Let's approach this trader. What you got? Ah, uh, he's not showing us the good stuff. Okay, a treasure map. I'm excited about a treasure map. We could also trade for some chocolate if we wanted to. Does he value anything in our inventory at an unreasonable price? No, he doesn't care about tome pages or anything. Okay. We're definitely not selling the hunting rifle. I'm not totally averse to selling the pistol, though. Maybe we trade some of these for it? Yeah, that seems fine. 
All right. Sometimes treasure maps have fame in them. Sometimes or the locations have fame in them. Sometimes you uh, get something a little less compelling. It looks like we don't see this location yet. Uh, the big clue is that it's two hills close together. When we see that, we can uh, we can take another look. We don't see any hills yet. Uh, I mean, well, let's look. So I don't really want to take the drums because I don't know what they do and I don't have spare inventory space. I think we can afford to go to Neg, neg 2 standing. Yeah, let's do it. So let's take all the mangoes and all the berries. The mangoes... Close. Um... The mangoes will eat three of them right now. Okay, there's hills down here. We should head down in this direction. I don't know how many days it takes for them to go bad. Let's move to here and see. Have they both gone bad by now? They have not. We'll eat one and go back to full. <laughs> Alright, so... This area is very wet. I wish we had brought more ropes instead of more machetes. Machetes are so widely valuable, you know, it's hard to it's hard to not take them with you. Oh, I saw red for a second. Treasure pendulum's going a little bit nuts. Oh, sweet mummies. Hell yeah, mummies. Let's move. There are treasures waiting for us. We just found a treasure. Calm down. Alright, so we got some geysers. These are definitely not the right hills. Because there's no mountains visible in the thing, right? Yeah. Let's hit this other one. We may as well just hurry up and dispose of... Oh. It's a place to rest. I don't think we need to rest right now, right? I guess there's no reason not to. Oh, right, we can paint the landscape. Cool. Yep, and then the mummy breaks out of the crate. It's a good thing we have an infinite number of crates. Uh, fortunately, we should be quite good at dealing with a mummy, although we did not roll any hands at all. We have five green dice. You can't roll a hand. I'll keep this. Okay, there we go. So let's apply this. So what's he got left? Two? Okay, fight over. Oops. We do lose standing for fighting the mummy, even though it's not... There's no way that anybody knows that we did that. It's crazy. That's crazy talk. So yeah, uh, Barlow's the only one who can still be promoted. Ah, oh, man. Tyrion, you gotta chill with the fire. Okay, here's two hills close to each other. Hold on, let's go over here and see if this is our treasure location. It is not, I don't think. No. Um, it looks like we still don't see... I don't even see any place that could be it. Because it's got a swampy area up and to the left of a hill. Yeah, we are we are not on it yet. So we got active volcanoes... They're going to change the landscape a little bit. Is, am I reliant on forests for this? Mm, not really. We can we can locate where this is based on the hills and the water. We don't need that forest. Don't want to stop and fight a tiger? Nah. So our standing is dropping pretty quickly, but we don't know for a fact that there are villages. I'm not too worried about it. Let's, let's reveal settlements, actually. This will help. Okay, no. There are not villages. There is only that mission. It appears to be on the other side of a large chasm. Well, we have targeted teleportation. And now that we can see that tile, actually, um, we can teleport over there if we want to. But not yet, not yet. Let's keep looking around. We actually are at a point where we need to fight some wildlife. I'm starting to feel insecure. Let's head this way and kill this panther. Oh, nice. Thanks, Treasure Pendulum. Awesome. Golden statue. Beautiful. Oh, I guess I have these berries. This is the whole reason I took them. Alright, and that was definitely not the treasure map location, so... Yeah, let's go hit this hill. And the, the moment we walk into the Panther's Aggro Range, we'll, uh... Stop and fight. Alright, Panthers have 10. This only does 8. I need hand again. Or I need um, eye. We'll keep hand and man and reroll. Okay. 
So let's hurry up and pop this one panther. We'll give him a ram. These are both... Yeah, those are both shield. Okay, we'll keep hand, man, and mind, and roll again. Okay, yeah, he's dead. Loot. Take all. Dismount. Alright, so this will reveal everything over here. Okay. I feel pretty confident that we are not missing any question marks to the east. So let's head back to the waterfall. Sleep a bit. We could go north and try to catch this tiger. White tigers are pretty good fighters. They're not as good as battle tigers. But if we fight the white tiger, we'll get a ton of sanity. And remember, we do have uh, four meat, which represents 60 sanity. Oh my god, you are such a coward. This is why they're rare, because it's impossible to find one, because all they do is run away from you. How much health does he have? 18? He has pretty good dice. This is not, like, there's not a thing that we can do and just completely disregard the consequences of. How are we rolling so many shields all the time, man? Oh, please tell me. Okay. Whew. I was like, we're, we're actually not going to roll rifle, are we? <laughs> Alright, so this is handled then, because we do this... And then we... Yeah, he's dead, actually. Cool. White Tiger Pelt. 50 fame? Okay. Let's cook all this meat. But yeah, 50 fame. I'm excited about this. Is there anything here that I want to toss? I have a torch. Yeah, screw the torch. Okay, so we don't really need to stop anymore. We get so much, so much sanity from fighting animals. I guess let's just move over to, like, here. No. Just to here. I somehow created another pin and was going to have him walking back and forth a bunch. The fire should have mostly burned itself out by the time we get here. Treasure pendulum's going nuts again. Did we not bring enough shovels? It's possible that I should have brought more shovels. So let's, uh... Okay, there's a hill, and there's a swampy thing down into the left of it, and then there's water. Yeah, we don't see that yet. No, it's got two of those. Okay. We don't see it yet. Let's keep moving. Hey, stop fleeing. All right. Okay, gorillas and all kinds of stuff. There's a mission over there in level uh, level zero land. All right, we're about to max out the level of our uh, our British warrior too, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and apply the Ripper Leap right now, which just gives us fewer dice to mess with. Okay, and then we'll keep like some of these. Reroll. Okay, we win. The hunting rifle really is just so powerful. That plus 20 sanity for the fight. And then another 30 from the meat is pretty fantastic. We can fight a gorilla. Oh, but I don't have a torch. I don't have a torch, but I do have three good blue dice. We could just man mode that cave. It's probably not worth it. The risk of losing somebody in the cave, having them replaced with an abomination, which is a thing that has happened to us in the past. Oh, the panther moved away. Do we have any idea? No, we still really don't know where the pyramid is. Alright, well we have to hit the shrine because we may need the moonstone that I'm sure is inside of it. Paint. Did I really run out of- I traded away my ropes. Shit. We only have two red dice, and only one of them is strong. We have to, like I said, we need the uh, the moonstone that this contains. And I don't know that we'll see another shrine, so... Okay. Cool. Continue. Alright, so we get our last level. Everybody's maxed out now. Unfortunately, we cannot use... 
points to get more carrying capacity. We could mount up, even. I guess we should. Oh, no, we, we can't. It, uh... This is not a real inventory spot, basically. Once you're above a certain number of uh, inventory spaces, it puts you into two rows. But I guess this one's not an actual inventory space. All right, so we're going to generate a pretty big chasm here. Let's go toward the panther. These guys only have... No, they have ten. I just saw one of these. I know they have ten health. I don't know why I can't keep number in my head. Uh, so let's hold I and man and roll. Right, so this kills the other panther. Combat is completely trivial at this point. We're just, we're too good. Our party is too good at fighting. I know, if there were villagers, they would be enraged. Uh, I guess we'll go this way. We'll go toward the hyena. I don't want to try to go this way because I'm concerned that I might block myself off. Let's head over here and see what's what. Also, I'm not sure how far this canyon's going to spread. And Is the chasm one of the ones that doesn't stop? Shoot, it actually might be. Okay, it's fine. If we can find, if we can get an idea of where the Golden Pyramid is, we still have that targeted teleportation we can do. Yeah, I think we're moving up into the desert area. We brought some water. We're actually going to get to use it. Okay, no, the chasm has ceased to expand. The treasure pendulum is going absolutely nuts, but I have no idea where it's trying to direct me to. We actually are in a position to maybe scout around a little bit. You know, let's go ahead and just eat all this stuff. Because we're about to have a, another thing in our inventory. Let's enter the tomb. Open the sarcophagus. And inside we find a mummy, and then we totally kick the mummy's ass, trivially. Because we have a ton of guns and we're really good fighters. I mean, they do have a lot of health. We're getting to the point where I'm starting to wonder if maybe I can afford to just um, throw out the med kits. Let's hold on to these hands. Do I want to keep this or do I want. I'm, I'm hoping it rerolls as man, I think. Okay. So let's well, let's start start with this. So that's actually six damage. Okay, so he's dead. We got it. Plus twenty two sanity. No standing penalty because our standing cannot get any lower than it is right now. I'm actually okay not even fighting this hyena. If we don't if we don't aggro it. Okay, well now we're gonna have to fight it. But I would have been fine not fighting. Saving it as a potential uh, thing for later, you know? Save hand. And I'm okay with rerolling the rest of these dice. Okay, so this gets us a kill in three dice. This gets us a kill in three dice. It's gonna take a little bit more. Oh, actually, we can do three dice headshot this guy. Nothing cool. We have to actually eat eat a hit here. Or at least eat a roll. It was possible that he would miss us. <laughs> and then, uh... Oh, we have headshot. Yeah, the pistol is definitely the by far the weakest of the guns. And I think that green is the weakest die. So the pistol sort of incidentally combines with the weakest gun. Let's see. I don't want to discard the shovel. Because we have a treasure pendulum and a treasure map that we haven't... Actually, I didn't... No, we still haven't seen... Oh, here it is. It's right here. Right? Yep, we're going back. Okay, so I don't want to discard this. The meat seems like a bad play. I, I, I want to keep the meat. These are only worth two fame each. Yeah, I think it's... These are worth five fame each. So this is 20 fame. And this is 36. So actually, we're going to discard the pelts. We did get all the white tigers that we saw, right? Yeah, if I see more, uh, we're definitely going after them. Because 50 fame that stacks is pretty fantastic. All right, yeah, let's go back and get the, let's go back and get the treasure. Could be something really cool. 
And at the very least, it lets us expend our shovel, right? The whole reason we brought this shovel was so that we would potentially be able to turn it into fame. And we succeeded. We found a second treasure pendulum. Which is not a thing that has any value to me, because I don't think we're going to be able to trade. I guess we could trade with the guy at the mission. Alright, let's keep going. This is going super well, right? I think this party just got really strong. Cook plus British soldier is an incredibly potent combination. We gotta try to find some more things to paint, though. Yeah, sure. What do you got? Cool stuff? Nope. Didn't show us the best stuff. No more treasure maps, no more shovels, both of which I would have been overjoyed to find. We might actually make use of some dynamite? Yeah, I think dynamite is a thing that we could, we could still have, like, legitimate potential uses for. Okay. Oh, he didn't... I didn't trade for torches. Uh, let's head down here, see if there's a way around. How are we doing? 81. Compass seems pretty sure that the Golden Pyramid's over here. Uh, we could go to the mission, but the chances of him having anything valuable are basically zero. We don't need to try the cave. We could have the cave. I guess the, the guy at the mission could have torches. I'm doing this so we can fight the bird. Because I wanted to use the bird for sanity. But it's running away from us in a way that's really frustrating. So stop running. Come toward us. No, just don't move at all, how about? Thanks, bird. Thanks, guy. So do I want to take a step without sanity? I'm going to. Come on, no event. Okay, cool. And then fighting these birds will be great for us. Okay, so they have 16, 18. They have 18 health each. So let us apply the Ripper Leap. And then hold all of these things. Uh-oh. Looks like we might not find that eye. We didn't. Okay. So we have to accept the uh, the slightly worse planned shot, which is not lethal. And yeah, this guy's gonna gonna get this guy is gonna get a whole turn. Unfortunate. Okay, we may as well do bullet wall. Right, does red does man man and shield combine that so we get three shielding this way or two shielding this way and the extra damage is irrelevant so we'll just quick shot this guy he'll bleed to death and then we'll take uh, three shield plus one shield unfortunately he's definitely gonna break that we'll be okay we have all these medical supplies Oh wow, he almost took uh, the painter out of the fight entirely. <laughs> he really does not care for her. This giant bird's like, I've seen your work and it's garbage. Evocative of Hitler in his early years. That's the thing, I know Hitler was a painter, but he's a bad painter, right? Is that a thing that we know? I think that I think that I remember reading that his stuff is not considered to be very good. Um, so yeah, that was a huge amount of sanity. We have, we have another, uh, another huge, uh, another 90 sanity worth of meat from that. So we may as well go visit this guy, but we should probably drop something first. I'm going to drop the water. I know that we're using the water right now, but we only have three water left and, um, I'm not going to heal anybody's injuries until they actually become infected. Okay, let's enter the mission. We could potentially stay here. Hey, he doesn't have anything cool. Um, well, let's go ahead and stay. We may as well. What do I want to trade this guy? Medical supplies? We we uh we maybe don't need the treasure pendulum anymore. And this treasure map that we used up? Darn it! <laughs> it's not quite enough. <laughs> These are 10 fame each. I kind of would like to hold on to these. We could trade him 2 fame worth of teeth. There we go. Actually, let's keep our treasure pendulum. We'll just give him 3 teeth. Deal. Ah, uh, yeah, let's let's drink his uh, free whiskey. 
Actually, I shouldn't have done that. Because we were going to go to Full Sanity anyway, and that Drink Whiskey event has a chance of... Uh... Oh, hey. I was told that putting stuff in the storage room here... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Promised that he would have all items dispatched to the civilized world for us if we were unable to retrieve them ourselves. So let's go ahead and put three inventory spaces worth of hot, hot value into this thing. Uh, we're not going to find any more golden llamas. I'm taking a, a chance on that. And then, like, these mummies, which don't... which can't have anything more stacked on them. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's awesome. So now we have a bunch more inventory spaces that we can use to gather loot. I'm so glad that whoever it was told me that. If you are the person who told me that, thank you. If you're not the person who told me that, feel free to take advantage of that thank you. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Everybody likes to be thanked for stuff. Are we going for this? We're going for this. We have three good dice. The odds of us missing are one in eight. And even if we do miss, it's probably not that bad. It's probably just somebody, like, takes a scrape. We're going for it. Oh, look at that. Three eyes. It's like we go through here with radar on. All right, let's investigate. What do we got? Okay, yeah, sure. I'm going to use these. <laughs> I don't know exactly what they do, but... And hey, we found machetes. Alright, so what do we... We're actually 32 days from anybody else getting to their pyramid. Wow, it's just... It's just deep jungle over here. Well, this is where the compass is pointing us. Alright, let's cook and eat the rest of our meat. Actually, hold on. We would be wasting three sanity if we ate this meat right now. Let's travel a little bit more first. I'm happy we have uh, binoculars. Oh, infected wound. Alright. Uh, let's go this way. It looks like we maybe are not going to find any more opportunities for treasure. I bet that's just the pyramid. Well... Let's go Tome Page of Effortless Movement. Check this out. Oh, you can't waypoint with it. I was going to use it. I was going to waypoint our way around. Um, I really do think this is it. So let's Tome Page of Effortless Movement back in this direction. Then we can just teleport out. Right? We should be 100% cool on Moonstones. I want to see what's over here. So the question is, do I want to... Yeah, this is a fine way to go. Any more treasure opportunities? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, it didn't give us the butterfly. Give me that butterfly. I want that tiny amount of extra fame. Oh. Hmm. We do have dynamite. We don't have any way of gaining sanity. That's not worth it. Let's just leave. Let's just go get that gold frame. This was a pretty good game, and we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get fifty extra fame too for the secret expedition bonus, secret world bonus. Did we come in first? We did. Awesome. Yeah, thirty six ninety before we trade in all this value. <laughs> Look at that. That is a beautiful score. All right. Well, uh, gift, gift. Gift, a hundred fame worth of paintings, awesome. Gift all these teeth. Okay. I think we might be ready to move the difficulty up. So thank you guys for watching 4340. This episode of Curious Expedition. We had some, some endings here. Ada Lovelace returned home in triumph. After the statue was modeled on her likeness, she enjoyed a long life in the knowledge that history would regard her as a true hero. Is this always the same if you win? I think it might be. Oh, wait, I clicked forward. Uh, oh, it's clicking on the little boxes doesn't take you to that box, it just moves forward. I wish that you could maybe uh, go back and read some stuff. So we skipped the ending, whatever, I don't care. I don't care, we don't need text. Alright, five golden frames. I think that's sufficient for expedition difficulty. Come back next time. We're going to step it up, play on certain death, and I imagine lose two or three in a row while we're adjusting. Uh, it'll probably be real exciting, and we'll see you then.